Hello my soapy friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lissa, also known as the Soap Chef on this channel where we make all things with a rather good lather. I've been a maker in this industry for over two decades. We are a 3D bath bomb mold supplier and my favorite products to make of course are bath bombs. But that's enough about me. Let's get right into the video. I have to keep testing you guys. I already made one batch. Um, six days ago this is the bubble magic that bath fizz and foam just put out they're fairly hard but i can still squish them i can package them they're hard enough to package not a problem they're not rock hard by any stretch like i said i can still squish them I can still indent them with my finger. So this is day six. So let's do another test. I'm just one of those type of people where I don't, you know, I don't see something, go grab it, make it one day and then put it up for sale the next day. I mean, I really have to do a lot of testing to make sure this is gonna be stable. I can already tell for me that in the summertime, I'm gonna have an issue with these like kind of melting a little bit. I think. We'll see. I already took all the popsicle sticks out of the bottom of those because I didn't like them as a bubble wand, honestly. So I took all those out. Anyways, I have all the mix all ready to go. Just for the sake of time, I've already combined all of the liquids into one vessel here. I'm not going to do things, you know, step by step by step. I just want to get everything incorporated here. I have to say that the bubbles on this stuff are incredible. You get a lot of tub bubbles. It's really nice. And the consistency, once you get this into a moldable form and you start playing with this in your hands, it's very nice. Like I would be able to use this, just roll this into balls and use this as a bubble Play-Doh. But Mr. Chef and I have been printing and testing some cookie cutter stamps because that's what I used to make these. I purchased those cookie cutter stamps. It was either Amazon or TeamU. I know that TeamU has a lot of them. This is the only thing I don't like about this. It's, it's so sticky when you're working with it. And this is what I've been running into with the tests that I've been doing. It's, it's just really, really sticky. Try to get as much off of my hands as I can. I don't want to like mess with the recipe itself and add like, you know, maybe a little bit more of the tapioca starch or maybe the cream of tartar, you know, one of the dry powders. I don't really want to mess with the recipe. I don't know. I'm of the mindset that a recipe should be good to go the way that it is, really without much tweaks. The only tweaks really that I like to do is like subbing things out if I wanted to add more goodies to a recipe. So it, do, it does take some work to get this to, you know, behave. So if I was going to sell these, which that is the plan, I would definitely make these in the winter time because I just think if I'm having this much of a sticky issue in the winter when I have, what is it here in the facility? It is 41% humidity right now here in the soap shop, which is nothing. So if I'm having this type of 
sticky issues in the middle of winter when there's not a lot of moisture in the air, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do this in summertime. So if I do start to sell these, I'll have to make them all in the winter. All right, give me just a minute, you guys. I'm gonna go and try to wash these hands up so that I can work with this dough a little bit better. Hold, please. Okay, let's get him out of the way. Let's dust our workstation a little bit. This is just a small little muslin bag, a lot of the cornstarch comes out, as you can see. But it's also a good idea to maybe kind of put a little bit on your gloves. Some people use alcohol. They'll give a couple spritz of alcohol on their hands. I'm just gonna get some of that cornstarch on my hands so I can try to work with this dough a little bit better. See, it's just like kind of falling apart on me, so I need to just give it some more kneading hate making bread dough. Do you guys? I absolutely hate it. And I just feel like you have to knead this stuff like a lot. It just kind of doesn't, at least for me. I am not saying this is a bad recipe, it's not. I love the bubbles. For me, when I'm working with this, it just seems like it falls apart fairly easy. All right, it's getting better. Let's put this back in here and let's use, well, let's see if we can use some of these stamps here. I have a bunch of emoticon, emoji stamps that we made, but we'll see how the design on it is. To me, it kind of looks like the design, you know, because they're cookie cutters and we just modified them and put a handle on them. So let's see, which one should we try? Yeah, we'll try this guy. All right, let's try this guy. See, it's got the handle on the back. And it's gonna put them down. Let's actually even give him a dusting too. Let's see if we can get this to go. That's way too much. Now the fact that these are reusable, like I don't want a big, huge um, bubble wand, you know? I'll give this just another little dusting here. All right, let's go ahead and press him down. And Robin actually made a very good point in the thread where I posted the picture of all of those orange ones. She made a good point. Let's push this down and through here now. Um... You're always gonna have a little bit left over in that ring. She made a good point in that. Um, if you make them so big, you know, you wanna have repeat business. And because these are made to be reusable, you want your people to come back. All right, so we've got that down. The top stamp is stuck on the top. So let's try to pull that off of there without ruining. Oh, that's cute as hell, look at there. Okay, so there's that. 
you know, you want your, your customers to come back and purchase again. So you don't want your, your bubble wands to be so big that you're not going to have repeat business. And um, that made a lot of sense to me. And that's why I'm choosing to go with these smaller. Um, you can see how small they are in my hand, right? And so work, we're working on printing and testing, which is what I'm doing now. I'm testing these right now. This is the first time I have not tested these with this bubble dough. So far, that one's okay. And we're going to be selling them in sets. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six in the emoji set. All right, let's grab some more. So let me get a little dusting on my hand too. Now, as I already told you guys, as far as the dryness of the orange ones that I made, it's been six days. So I tested them every, you know, every day. I was snowed in one day, so I couldn't come back. I made them on Monday. We got snowed in on Tuesday. I made them on a Monday and my heart's did No, sorry. Um, <laughs> we got snowed in on Tuesday, so I couldn't come back here to check on them. But I came back on Wednesday, and they were still very sticky and very soft. Um, and then I checked them on day five again, and they were hard enough to package at that point. They were still, um, I could press my finger down in there and make an indentation quite a bit by day five. Now, today, they're good. They're six days now. And, you know, yes, I can press. Yes, I can make an indent with my finger but it's taking a little bit more effort to do that than it was um, a couple of days ago. All right, let's get that in there and we'll dust this just so that we don't have a whole lot of sticking. This one I think may be an issue because of the teeth. He's like, ah, oh no. So let's see what happens. Again, this is the very first time I'm testing these here on camera. Just pulled these off of the printer last night Mr. Soap Chef did the modification to the back of it um, to add that handle because I like the little cookie cutters that I just purchased because they've got that little handle on it and I like that. Just clean up the bottom of the mold, you know, if there's a couple little stragglers down on there. A little, um, what's the word? Like there's a couple of little jagged edges that's kind of sticking out. So I'm just trying to fix that a little bit. At least not want not with that dough. Because this is an expensive recipe too. With all of that tapioca flour and all of the powdered surfactants, this is a, a costly recipe. So price it accordingly, you guys, if you're going to sell these. Because it, it's not cheap to make. Okay, now see, that one pulled the design right on out of there, which I was afraid of because of those teeth like that, you know? So something like that is not going to work. Uh, hold on, let me grab this. Yeah, something with a design like this, is, it's just not going to work. It's grabbing onto that dough. Now, this is something I can say because I did it. Hold on, let me just grab, get this off of here. It's bugging me now. On, I think it's day two that I made that first batch, that first test run. On day two, it was still very, very sticky, very, very soft. So I took this little piece that I had left over and I just smooshed it all up again and then tried to mold that. Now, so that was a 24 hour old piece of dough that had been sitting out just like that. I didn't do anything with it. It was open air. And so I went ahead. So this one is no bueno. We're, we're not going to be offering this one because it just, it pulled everything right up on out of there. So that's a no-go. Put that over there as a no-go. Anyways, so one day old, it was still extremely sticky and tacky. So I went ahead and remolded that and stuck it into a mold. And I have to tell you, it molded way better. One day old dough, molded way better with much less stickiness. All right, so that one's a no-go. Let's try this one. Just 
take that dough that we just discarded from the other one that ripped out the teeth. I knew that one was going to be a problem, child. I, I just know from making bath bombs that anything that looks like that, you're going to have issues with. Press that down in there. Just like with a bath bomb mold, you may have some dough that gets stuck on the inside of the shell. You just scrape it off. All right, that looks good. Let's try to wiggle this off. You gotta be gentle with these. You can't just rip them up and out of there because it will just rip all those designs right on out. This one has got like the teardrops, like the emoji, emoji face has got the, like the teardrops. So that one came out very nice. I like that one. Okay, so that's good. We'll put him next to Mr. I don't know if he's dead or, or what he is, the guy with the, with the X's. <laughs> don't know. I guess, I guess that's a dead one, right? All right, we'll leave you guys sitting there. So that's a good one. All right, so those are good. That one is bad. Let's try this one. That one might be good. This one, when you first look at it, like Mr. Chef didn't know what the heck this was. So you've got one eye that's completely open. You got one eye that's winking. You got one eyebrow that's regular and one eyebrow that's raised. The mouth is making a kissy with the mouth and blowing a heart kiss. He looked at that and he's like, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> oh, Mr. Chef. You're so funny. All right, let's get some dough down in here. This stuff is fun to work with. Like I said, like the pliability of it, I like it a lot. Like it's fun to smoosh in your hands. And the more you knead and mold and work with this dough, I'm guessing, I don't know, this is literally my second time working with it, but I'm guessing the more that you do that, the better it will stay together for you. I'm guessing. But I just have to do, you know, more testing on these before I will put them in a package and slap a price tag on it with a pretty bow. I, I just don't, I don't operate that way. I, I, I have to do more testing, you know. Other people can do what they want, but that's just not my jam. All right, let's put you in here. All right, and let's push right on through. Rest of this all together here so it kind of stays together a little bit. Yesterday we picked up two more printers. So we have a farm of six now. If that can be considered a farm, I don't know. I've seen people that have two printers that say that they have a printing farm. I don't know that two really would qualify as that. And there you go. I think that looks cute. So you put it like that sideways and there's him winking and blowing you a kiss of a heart with a raised eyebrow. Okay, so that one's good. We'll leave him over here. That one's good. So we have one flopperoni and we've got three that are good. This one, he's sticking his tongue out at you. I don't know how he's gonna go. Let's find out, shall we? It smells really good. I scented this with cantaloupe. A little bit too much. I 
think I'm having a lot better luck unmolding these because I have been dusting this time and the last time I did not. And I should have known better, you know what I mean? It's like baking. You have to throw your flour everywhere. You got to put it on your rolling pin. You throw it down on your table. You dust the top and the back side of your dough ball. But once again, I don't like making bread. <laughs> I've done it. I don't really care for it. My husband is the baker in the family, not me. You know, this is sticking to the inside of this one pretty decently. That's what I'm saying. You know, this is, um, and I've read up on the forum in the group that a lot of people are having the same issue. So I'm just thinking that you just need to, to just dust a lot. That's all. Grab whatever your dusting is. Like, the, like I said, this is, uh, no, this is actually arrowroot. It is not cornstarch. My bad. So I actually even, there you go, <laughs> look at that. Arrowroot powder pouch. That's what that is. It's arrowroot, not cornstarch. This one came out with a lot of jagged edges on, edges on the bottom. All right, let's try to get this up and off of here and see what it looks like. You really want to be gentle, you guys. Don't just rip this up. It will rip those details out. It absolutely will. You just got to give it a tug and just work it. Yeah, this one's giving me a hassle. This is a time consuming process too. Keep that in mind if you guys are gonna be doing, yeah, this one just ripped all of the details out. So this is a no-go. Keep that in mind too with the type of molds that you guys are going to be using. If you're going to have a lot of detail like these ones, you may have them rip your design right on out of there like you're seeing is happening right here. You may not, but you may. I always like to say that you might, or it could, not it's going to. How do I know? Maybe, maybe you'll do this with one of these exact molds and it'll come out perfect for you. But it might not. All right, that's just a hot mess right there. Okay, let's get that off to the side. You're a no-go. So this one, no-go. So we're just about at half. <laughs> We've got three that worked and two that didn't. And that's why we test. Because there's no way I'm going to package something up and put it for sale if it's not working correctly. All right, let's try this guy. This is just a plain emoji. Just plain, no big deal. We'll try him next. Push it through. All right, and there's our plain little emoji dude. All right, so we've got four good ones and two not so good ones. That's okay, we're winning. All right, so there's a little kissy face. There's the plain dude. Here's, I, I guess he's dead. 
And here's the laughing guy. All right, so those four are good to go. The other two, not so much. So for this set, it'll just be those four that we will be putting up for sale because they work. So I am gonna let these sit and judging by the last set that I did, and these are mm, a little bit um, thinner than these, than the orange ones. The orange ones were a little bit on the thicker side. But judging by the orange ones, I think I'm going to have to let these sit for at least five days, you know, to let these firm up enough so that they can be packaged. But I'm not selling anything right this second as far as these bubble doughs are concerned. I'm not selling those quite yet. Um, I need to give some of these to my granddaughter so that she can give those um, to her friends and they can all test them and give me the feedback on them. But again, like I already did like the bubble test and it's really, really good. The bubbles are fantastic. It's just a matter of getting that dough to work for you because it is a little bit on the finicky side. It's, it's very, very sticky and a lot of people are having the same issue. But I think dusting is the key as well as not getting any type of a mold that has any really deep, thick designs that are just gonna pull that mix right on out of there. So those two molds, no bueno. These ones, yay, good. They work fine. All right, so there's the molds that we're going to be putting up for sale. Those we're gonna be testing. Okay, you guys, stay tuned. We're gonna do more tests, okay? We got bath jelly coming up too, so I've been working on that for over a month now. Stay tuned for that. Okay, it's Sunday. I want to go home. Have a good day.